So I hope that you're keeping well and that everything is good. It's Bianca and I am back again with another vocal analysis. So by the title of the video, you can see we are going to be experiencing Morissette Amman, where she has recently sang with the David Foster singing the Bodyguard medley. Now listen, I've missed hearing this voice. I feel like it's been a while since I have taken in and tasted and seen. And listen, if this is your first time experiencing Morissette Amman, put your seatbelt on because you're gonna need it. Listen, are you ready to get into the video? Okay, let's go. First of all, I'm just going to point out these three quick things. Where she said that life and she went into speech quality, that was beautiful. It sounded like literally she is enticing you. She wants you to be drawn in to that moment there and then. There is no build up. She wants you focused. She wants you engaged. She wants you to be completely wrapped in what she is saying now. So that take my life. Yeah, she gave us a nice speech quality there. And then that because really nice and rich lower voice quality that larynx sitting nice and low yes Morissette let's go I don't really need to go very much further I'll never have to go where you don't Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, very quickly. I just want to point out here, do you hear that really dominant Celine Dion nuance that she's placed into her voice where the placement is going incredibly back? I don't really need to look very much further. I don't want to have to go. Right? It's really, really warm, but the placement is drawn towards the back. We're not getting, I don't want to have to go. Right? I love that a lot about this. And of course, she placed in a nice staple growl in there. Woo! Come on, let's get into this chorus. pleased i'm pleased with the fact that she held fast to some of whitney's iconic necessary vocal abilities that have to sit in this song such as the rhythmic vibrato have you right she put that in there on top of that the way that she commanded the band to ensure that they gave that lift when it was necessary but at the same time, while she gave us witness staple voice qualities in many different places, she held fast to Morissette's voice qualities. And she still gave us that nice cry that she has. And she also made sure that when she went back into the outside of the song, so as we got towards the end, she thinned those vocals right down. I thought to myself, please don't make it too thick. And she did what was necessary. She thinned it out. 
she maintained that rhythmic vibrato and of course now she is ready to go into that new song effortlessly that was delicious and she better get down on her knees and beg and plead i love that i love that that's what you call committing to the vocal committing to the song going all out forget if you've got a gorgeous pink ball gown on she is prepared to go on the floor and do what she needs to do i love it I love the fact that there as well, she's just giving us that effortless vocal run. My darling, you. That was beautiful. Love it. Yes, girl. example of what to do she was able to equalize the breath pressure with the approach to ensure that that vocal itself seamlessly went through as she was singing that crescendo that she was giving us where she did the and uh, right that was effortlessly delivered and then she went back into a diminuendo and drew it back down that was beautiful the way she was able to control her vocal there without slipping out or necessarily without cutting the vocal altogether because sometimes if you're not delivering the right amount of air if the breath if the breath pressure sorry is not accurate in alignment with the placement we'll sometimes have the voice and uh, uh, because they're both not equalizing enough and she was able to do the right thing and make sure that the placement was there one of the most iconic songs in history which one of the most iconic singers delivered in history i will always love you whitney houston yes obviously the way you will deliver that note without killing yourself off is to make sure that you are supporting yourself correctly that posture has to be right the way you support your body and the entrance the stance that you have has to be right and you physically saw the way that Morissette delivered that with such class and such ease when she did the and I will always and then she added in her iconic vocal squeak that cry yeah I love the fact that she just intermingled everything together that was so 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 as I've said before so tasty and at the same time as well 
as she drew back down, she still maintained the Whitney nuances, which we all love to hear and we all need to hear whenever someone's delivering a Whitney track. You have to add in her nuances. You cannot just flip it and try and make it your own because it, it just it just won't wash, basically. You have to do what is necessary and she did just that. I also love that little subtle vocal run that she had at the end. I will always... I think I added in a little dash there, but I love the fact that she kept it thin but she was still able to execute it with precision. Morissette, as we know, is just an outstanding vocalist, but it is so lovely to hear her now and to just continue to see her blossoming, but still holding fast to that true dexterity and that really, really raw gift that she has, which is in the voice. Peeps, that is my vocal analysis of Morissette Armand's version of the Bodyguard Melody, which she sung for David Foster with friends. Listen, let me know in the comments below how you found it. I would love to connect with you. And until I do, I wish you nothing but health and happiness. Much love and God bless. Bye.